This is part of a series of e-conversations from the education portfolio at UWS. And we're looking at frequently asked questions around learning and teaching. In my conversations with students and staff across the university, online, via email, one of the most commonly asked questions at the moment is, how's the iPad strategy going? Is it making any difference to student learning at UWS? I'll start my answer to that question by referring to a well-known author by the name of Sir Ken Robinson. And he talks about learning to be creative. He talks a lot about encouraging a culture of innovation across organisations in order to foster creativity. And for me that's really what our blended learning strategy is all about. And it lies at the heart of our iPad strategy. At the start of 2013 we had an iPad included in the enrolment pack for all our first year undergraduate students. And we also made sure our academic staff had iPads. It signals a commitment that we have to making sure that our curriculum is renewed, that it's relevant, that it's creative and innovative, and that we have in the hands of our students and our staff the tools that they need to be able to learn and teach effectively. So what is happening across the schools? Well, there are some terrific examples of how academic staff are using iPads. In the School of Humanities and Communication Arts, for example, they're using augmented reality apps, they're using graphic design apps. In the School of Science and Health, in large lecture theatres, they're using the iPad to provide students with instant feedback on their learning. In the School of Law, they've developed their own app, a student app, and that's been uh, received with real uh, support and, and enthusiasm from students and staff. In the School of Computing, Engineering and Mathematics, they're using iPads for graphic communication and design. And in the School of Medicine, they're using iPads in clinical settings. So there are some really good examples of how iPads are being used across disciplines, across schools, to support student learning. We know there's always room for improvement. So we're evaluating our use of iPads as part of the broader blended learning strategy. And I encourage you to use survey feedback or to provide feedback uh, in, in interviews with students and staff. Let us know what's working well. Let us know the areas for improvement. I also encourage you to have a look at this site. The learning and teaching site has a lot of resources around blended learning, use of iPads for students and staff. It includes resources for, for the beginners just starting out, as well as some quite advanced examples of how our academic colleagues are integrating iPads into their teaching. Please also use the feedback button on this site to let us know what other frequently asked questions you'd like us to deal with in future e-conversations.